do my hair toss Check my nails Baby, how you feeling? Hi guys, this is gonna be a review on the Coco Black Hair 360 Exotic Curly Wig that I did order. Um, so, they have very fast shipping. It came in this box. And it also has um, little directions on the back too. You know, they just give you tips on how to care for the hair. And it also came with, they sent me a wig cap. Um, it's not my skin color, but don't really care. You can always put foundation on top of it, you know, to match it. So that's not a big deal. But I do appreciate them sending a wig cap. Um, I got this unit in 18 inches um, in medium brown lace. Um, and it says it's supposed to be a 200% density, but I'll talk to you about that later. This is the wig. Um, this is the curl pattern of it. It looks almost identical to the one they had on the website. Uh, it's supposed to be 200% density, in my opinion. They could have used a little bit more um, hair on this, but it's just my opinion. Um, the curl pattern is very lovely. I love the curl pattern. Um, as you guys can see, the hairline on it, very thick, so I'm going to have to pluck it, not a big deal. Cap construction of it, standard for most 360s, um, it comes with four combs in it. You have the three, one in the front, and then the two on the sides, so your temples, and you have the one in the very back. This is... Um, a medium cap and another thing this did not come fresh out of the package i did wash it so what you see here is what is going to be the actual curl pattern of it i'm going to pluck the hairline and i will give you a video on that the before and after um bleach knots oh it's another thing so i did attempt to bleach these knots um this hair is actually in a 1B, it's not a natural color. And one thing that I learned so far is when, when the wigs come um, pre-dyed, it is very hard to bleach the knots. If you can, if you can, you can. I could not personally bleach the knots. Um, I did, however, get the very front ones a little bit, but as far as me getting down to it really, I did not, I wasn't really able, successful to bleach the knots. Um, so that's my only grief about it, but other than that, it has a beautiful um, curl pattern. I do wish it was a little bit fuller, but um, we'll see how it turns out. So. to show you guys what the unit looks like on my head so I did still use my um, ghost bond glue to apply this unit on um, I think I could have did a little bit more this time but I was kind of in a rush you know you guys can see edges on this one um, I'm not a real big fan of baby ears I think it just sometimes make it look um, a little bit too fake Sometimes people do their baby hairs too much. I did do like two mini itty bitty swoops. You can't really see them like that in the front. But I did use mousse. Um, I've learned to not use any edge control because after a while, um, it just makes your lace all gunky and sticky and gooey. So I do not use um, any products like that that are very thick. I just use the mousse and those can lay it down if you happen to put enough on it. Oh, this is what this side looks like. The edges. Um, as you guys know, this is a medium cap, medium brown lace. Only thing that I would complain about is that I could not bleach the knots on this unit, and that is, um, at least from my personal experience, because I got this in a 1B and not a natural color. All my natural color units that I have ordered, I have been able to bleach the knots on them. I could not bleach the knots on this one, so it does. When you get up close, it looks, you can see the, um, knots on this one, which I don't really like, but, you know. Come say for that. The curl pattern is very lovely. I like it. Um, I did do some teasing to the wrist to make it a little bit fuller. So this is just straight. I didn't cut this or anything at all. Um, I used a paddle brush to get these curls. I did not use a dimming brush. I just wanted them to be really full. Um, I didn't really want it to be really thin at all. So I did try to use a um, I use a white tooth comb and went at the wrist with it. So you guys can see it. 
Um, very beautiful curl pattern. Um, I didn't really get any shedding at all. Yeah, not really. I can't really see anything about shedding. Um, the ends, they still curl up very fine. And the ends, they're pretty thick and full. So, good on that. Um, I would recommend that you put some type of moisture in this hair. Um, it is kind of dry. But um, that could be my fault as well. I think I am going to go back and wash this when I in a couple of days or so and deep condition it so it just don't feel so dry to me at least. I did put like some um, Jamaican black castor oil on the end so they didn't get so frizzed up. So, but um, other than that, um, I love this hair. So far, this is only day one. Day one, I had this in for about the whole day. So, more than 12 to 15 hours. I did it this early this morning. I'm shooting this at night. So, I had it in for a good minute. But, um, yeah, beautiful curl pattern. Didn't really have any problems shedding that much. Um, we will see in the next couple of days how this hair holds up. And I will give you guys a final review on that. So, thank you guys for watching.